Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. In this video, I wanted to take a closer look at our Lake Tanganyikan 33 Long. This is a really cool tank. It's got some really cool fish. Wanted to give you a closer look. By the way, before we get into the tank, I did want to say thank you to everybody who supports the channel in various ways, whether that's sharing our videos, becoming channel members, buying shirts at primetimeaquatics.com, leaving comments and thumbs up and everything that everyone does to help make this channel grow. I wanted to take a couple minutes and just say thank you. It is very much appreciated. And I know especially in times like this, it's so important to have that closer community. And I love our members. I love our viewers. I love the fact that in the comments section, we support one another and we offer one another advice and we do it in a way that is kind and considerate. The world needs a lot more of that lately. Thank you so much. Let's go take a look at that 33 long. So this is our 33 long. It is one of three that we have triple stacked on this wall. This is the one in the middle. I love 33 long fish tanks. They're so cool. The dimensions, in case you were wondering, it's about 48 inches long, about 12 and a half inches wide, and about 13 and 3 eighths inches tall. So it's got the same dimensions as a 55. It's, it's just a shorter tank, which I find to be much easier to work on. And again, the advantage for us is we can triple stack them instead of double stacking them, which is pretty cool. So here we are looking at a Lake Tanganyikan setup. And we've got a number of fish in here that have been working out well together so far. I'll talk a little bit about the hardscape in this tank. We've just got some flagstone and the flagstone, at least for us in our pH and our water hardness, really doesn't impact the water hardness or pH at all. We've got a little bit of jungle bell that you can see growing throughout the tank. That's also the plant that you see floating. Now, what's funny is a lot of the jungle bell that you see floating used to be planted in the sand. It's just the fish on the left-hand side, mainly the calypterus, they like to dig things up a little bit. And so some of it will start to float. But I like the look and I do like to have a little bit of greenery. I know it's a Lake Tanganyika tank and there's not a lot of plants in Lake Tanganyika, but I like it, so that's what I do. Now, the fish, like I said, they've been working out really well. I think one of the fish that catches people's eye the most when they first look at the tank are the ones that are kind of orange and yellow. Those are Neolamprologus lelupi, and I really like these fish. They're a lot of color. You'll get them in different color varieties. Some of them will be a little bit darker orange. Some of them, they'll be a little bit lighter. In my experience, the younger ones, they all start out basically yellow, and then they get more orange as they develop. The more dominant the males are, the more orange they will be, and the females tend to be a little bit lighter on the lighter side. We also have here Neolamprologus transcriptus. That's the fish that you see that kind of look checkerboard-like. We have a pair in here, and they have given us some fry. The problem with this tank is anytime you've got a community tank that is a cichlid tank with a mixed bunch of fish, often the offspring don't survive all that well. So while we get some periodic fry survival, if we don't pull the fry out right away, they don't tend to survive in this tank. Now the fish that you see with the longer fins, they kind of look like Brashardi. That's actually Neolamprologus falsicula cygnus. This is a pretty cool fish. I would say they're not as pretty as your common Brashardi or maybe like the daffodil cichlids, but they are pretty cool. I like their long fins and their blue eyes. And here you can see the Lelupi again. We do have shells in this tank and you'll notice like, well, I don't really see any shell dwellers. And that's because in a few moments, I'm going to show you Neolamprologus calypterus. We have a pair in here. We used to have more of them, but we're down to a pair. And the female is not visible in this video because she is usually stuck in the shells on the left-hand side. And the male kind of hovers around that area. Here's the male right here, right on cue. And these are really pretty fish, especially when you get the real dominant males with that yellow head and the blue lips. We actually did a species profile on these fish before. I will put that in the upper right-hand corner as well as in the description below. And by the way, if you want a little bit more information on 33 longs, I did a video on comparing 33 longs and 40 gallon breeders, which I will also put in the description below in case you want to get a little bit better idea of what you can expect with a tank like this. But these are really great sized tanks. You see those little red dots? Those little red dots on the rocks, that's actually a type of red algae and we only have it in this tank, I believe, and in the 75 gallon. And it's a kind of red algae that is really uncommon in our fish room, but I, I think it's cool. So it's just kind of an interesting thing to watch that kind of grow out. Uh, the light on this tank is a four foot Phoenix Stingray and that's what's given us that nice balanced light. I like those lights. Uh, they do a pretty good job with low and medium light plants and we haven't had any issues. As you can see, the jungle bell is growing in just fine. 
I may do something with this jungle bell and move some of it away from the front of the tank at some point. But for right now, like I said, I just kind of like the way it looks. I do like the, the green plants in the tank, even though it's a cichlid tank. And our water for this tank is really good for these fish. The pH is right around an 8 to an 8.2. The water hardness is somewhere in that 10 to 12 degrees, both KH and GH. So the water parameters here are fantastic. We're keeping the tanks right around 78 degrees, 78 to 80. It's actually warmer in our basement in the winter than it is in the summer because our air conditioning unit is in the basement and we have to counteract that with a space heater. So uh, it's it, it's a little cooler in the summer down there, but it's, it's probably this tank's probably sitting right around 78 degrees. You can see we got a couple sponge filters on either side. That's the only filtration that we have in the tank. And I think they're doing a pretty good job of keeping the water looking clear. Certainly there's no ammonia or nitrites. All these fish, Lake Tanganyika fish, I find don't do well in poor water parameters. So it's, it's important, no ammonia, no nitrites. We keep our nitrates below 20 parts per million. So I wanted to give you an update on this tank. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this sort of thing and you want to see more on those Neolamprologus calyptris, check out the video in the upper right hand corner. If you'd like to learn more about this 33 long, the video in the lower right hand corner might be a good one to check out. Really appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.